Well, today, a historic one for Abilene, mm -hmm. marking two years since a tornado tore through parts of West and North Abilene, damaging about 400 homes and businesses. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez went back to one neighborhood to speak with a woman who remembers that day very well. Nicole Chevery was awake the morning of May 18th, 2019, looking out her front door at what she thought was just a storm. Still lightning struck and then I seen a tornado. An EF2 tornado crashed through her South Abilene neighborhood. Her family even had to be rescued from their home. And we were kind of trapped because the house, the roof from the house across the street, it, it hit the front of the house and it blocked us in the house. So we had to have the fire department come in help us out through the window. Since then, Chevrolet has rebuilt her home, but memories of the May tornado come back every so often. And anytime there's a storm of any kind, I mean, the first thing my grandson says is, do you think we'll have another tornado? After the tornado struck, neighbors showed up in droves to help clean up, something Chevrolet says she'll never forget. Without them, we probably wouldn't even be here right now. You know, we may have move somewhere else. You know, I just would really love to thank everybody that came out and helped us. Also helping with cleanup was the United Way of Abilene. Its president, Dr. Kathy Ashby, says a lot has kept them busy since May 2019. Between the, the tornado, the pandemic, and the freeze, it feels like we've had 20 years of disasters packed into two years. The United Way and Community Foundation of Abilene raised hundreds of thousands to help tornado survivors in the month after the storm, a fund fueled by community kindness. And like Chevrolet, that enduring and caring spirit of the key cities sticks out in their minds. Come sunshine or rainstorm. Communities like Abilene come together and help each other get through situations like that. In Abilene with coverage you can count on. Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Thank you, Mercedes. About $600,000 was raised for the Abilene Tornado Relief Fund by the United Way and Community Foundation of Abilene.